where we find who we truly are. <laughs> The Sea Beast is one of the most anticipated animated feature films on Netflix. Very recently, in March 2020, the production company released the first official teaser for the film, which features a magnificent animated journey on the high seas. Here's all the details you might have missed. Don't worry. If there's one of them things within a mile of us, I'll sense it. The Sea Beast, directed by the Oscar winner Chris Williams, takes us on an epic voyage to the point where the map ends and the unknown begins. Set in a period when terrifying creatures roamed the waters freely, monster hunters were called heroes, and none were more adored than Jacob Holland. Maisie Bromble discovers a way to hide on board his legendary ship one day and is partnered up with an unexpected friend. They'll go into unexplored territory and make history together. Sounds exciting, right? The stunning high-quality animation in the trailer will leave you absolutely speechless. Naturally, the animation technique is similar to that of earlier animated films by Williams, such as the Oscar-winning film Big Hero 6. That was the first time Marvel Comics characters appeared in a feature film produced by Disney Animation Studios. Marvel Studios has released countless films under the Marvel Cinematic Universe name, since being bought by Walt Disney Studios in 2009, starting with Iron Man in 2008 and ending with Spider-Man No Way Home from last year. When Disney and Marvel collaborate on a picture, you know some history is already being made. With Big Hero 6, that connection has shown to be a powerful recipe for generating a blockbuster product, with plans in the works as we speak for a sequel to Big Hero 6. With over $500 million in total box office revenue, the film is the second highest earning animated feature picture in 2014, following DreamWorks Animation's blockbuster How to Train Your Dragon. Maybe a little off my game here. Like the previously mentioned two films, The Sea Beast presents an unexpected link in the shape of a friendship between Tiny Maisie and one of Holland's sailors. Despite him telling her that a hunting ship is not a place for children, the trailer gives the impression that Maisie is constantly in awe with childlike curiosity at everything new she sees, and that the journey she unintentionally embarks on will undoubtedly be one she will remember for the rest of her life. Walt Disney Animation Studios has long been known for its simple yet heartfelt storytelling, and it has created animated movies using a variety of animation techniques, including conventional animation, computer animation, and animation integrated with live-action scenes. Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, the studio's debut film, was released in December of 1937, and it has since produced more than 57 animated feature films. Big Hero 6 tells the tale of a young prodigy who has a peculiar relationship with his older brother's invention, Baymax, who is an inflatable robot created to act as a personal health companion. When Hero finds that his own innovation is being used for evil, he transforms Baymax and his buddies into a group of high-tech heroes to confront the perpetrator. That's a million-dollar narrative, or $521 million to be exact, and counting. Netflix intends to use the same method that Disney used to make billions, and no one was more qualified to assist them take their animation to the next level than the world-famous Chris Williams. As far as the Sea Beast is concerned, the trailer starts with some world-building from Harris's character's monologue, who sums up the story's massive scope with the remark, it's where the map ends that the true adventure begins. The preview also shows off some huge set pieces on the wide seas, as well as amazing animation from Williams' award-winning creative genius. The story follows a little girl who becomes a stowaway aboard a gorgeous monster hunter's ship as they both seek wealth, wonders, and adventure. It seems like a high-sailing good time for the whole family. And now that we've seen the teaser, it's time to mark your calendar for when Netflix's next animated offering will be available. The film's creatures are based on beasts portrayed on maps from the 16th and 17th centuries and has apparently been in the works for quite some time. It was first announced all the way back in 2018, so you can imagine our excitement when the trailer dropped on Wednesday. You're amazing. <sighs> Oh, I like this kid. To help propel the medium forward, Netflix has gone all in on animation, especially original animated works. Ted Sarandos, co-CEO of Netflix, stated in 2020 that the business will commit to creating at least six original animated films every year. The streaming service appears to be on course to deliver on that promise. The year 2022 is shaping up to be a good one for Netflix animation. The streaming service has a number of animated projects in the works, including Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio and Henry Selick's Nightmare Before Christmas. When the CB is ultimately released on July 8, 2022, it will join those ranks. This new project, which was originally named Jacob and the Sea Beast, was first unveiled in 2018 as Williams' follow-up to his work as co-director on the Oscar-winning Disney animated picture Moana. Oh, and you can anticipate a lot of Moana-style youth stowing away with the great hero vibes here. Williams is one of the directors who have switched from Disney to Netflix in recent years as the popular streaming service seeks to improve its animation game. Netflix has proven they have what it takes to 
compete with the rest of the studio giants, with recent Oscar-nominated films like 2020's Over the Moon and 2021's The Mitchells vs. The Machines. The Sea Beast will try to maintain the trend, if not go even further. The Sea Beast will mostly feature a little girl named Maisie Brumble as she embarks on an adventure-seeking voyage on board a ship. Zaris Angel Hater will play Maisie, a young actress who doesn't have a long resume but is sure to make a major splash. She was previously seen as Sally in the movie The Midnight Gang. Despite the fact that Hater is a relative newbie to the business, the voice cast will be filled with industry veterans. For instance, Carl Urban, who presently plays Billy Butcher on The Boys, will play Jacob Holland in the film. Dan Stevens, well known for his roles in Beauty and the Beast and The Guest, will also appear as an undisclosed character. Rounding out the cast will be Jared Harris from Chernobyl, Marianne Jean-Baptiste from Without a Trace, and Kathy Bark from Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy. It's below us. Maisie Brumble is a little girl who stows away aboard the ship of famed monster hunter Jacob Holland in pursuit of adventure in Netflix's The Sea Beast. The trailer gives us a good idea of the film's universe, people, and conflict. The official synopsis for The Sea Beast tells the story of a time when dangerous animals ruled the oceans, and monster hunters were famous heroes, none more so than the legendary Jacob Holland. When Maisie Brumble stows away on his famous ship, however, he discovers an unexpected friend. They embarked in a dangerous journey into uncharted waters, breaking new ground in the process. In many respects, Netflix's in-house films have surpassed the quality of anything produced by big Hollywood studios, yet feature-length animation remains an exception. This isn't surprising, given that the types of animated feature films produced by Disney and Pixar need massive teams and large budgets. However, Netflix execs appear to be hell-bent on proving that they can accomplish anything that any other studio can, which is most likely how we wind up with films like The Sea Beast, which was just announced. With a tale that echoes the How to Train Your Dragon franchise, the animated film offers incredibly intricate animation that exhibits a clear influence from some of the industry's greatest companies. So far, that's all we know about this one, but we'll keep you updated as more information becomes available. A hunting ship ain't no place for a kid. If you want to stay on top of all the latest animation news, like and subscribe to see more frequent updates like this. And if you want to learn more about other animated shows, check out some of our other videos. Let us know if you're looking forward to The Sea Beast in the comments section below. Maybe a little off my game, yeah?